Happy Saturday morning, YouTube. So, <clears throat> I wanted to do this, this uh, YouTube, because we got a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world right now. <laughs> we got so much crazy stuff going on, and I'm keeping a little bit, you know, what's going on in, in current events. I don't watch the news. I don't have television. And so I get my, my news from other sources. <laughs> And I'm not really entirely sure. I take everything a tiny bit with a grain of salt. Even things that I actually see, like that I actually see, uh, like a video, I even take that with a, a bit of a grain of salt. But I, and so I, and I haven't gone to the farmer's market. And those of you who know me, this is like the third week that I haven't gone to the farmer's market. And I had been doing on my podcast, I'd been, no, I'd actually been, been Instagramming live to show how it is to actually go, was to go to the farmer's market during this, this time. And now the market has actually opened so you can walk around, but I am getting like a lot of negativity if I'm not wearing a mask. So the state of Arizona where I live currently <clears throat> is is on another one of these uh, uh, you're not allowed to go anywhere without a mask. And so a lot of people in the town that I live in, a lot of establishments are requiring a mask. And the farmer's market, I don't think they can actually require it because it's outdoors. I mean, maybe they can, but it's heavily encouraged and I was really rather disappointed in in that they would just comply so so I've been following and I've been pretty vocal about the fact that I've been following um, actually Brian Rose London Real I've been following uh, David Icke interviews and also a guy named Dr. Batar and and they have they both David Ike and Dr. Batar have been really saying the same thing along with other people who like Dr. Batar is a doctor <laughs> he's a doctor so he he is one that would actually know um, about the effectiveness of these masks and and so and so I I have been like just in this really weird place about it like I was I was walking up one day about a couple of weeks ago to Sprouts to to buy some groceries and they would not let me in without a mask and they were gonna hand me a mask so they graciously were gonna hand me one but it wasn't about the wearing of the mask it's not about the wearing of the mask that is bothering me. It's it's about us blindly following these orders. And if we don't follow these orders, being denied, like even groceries. Like we wouldn't be able to buy groceries unless we comply. And this idea of where is this going? I mean, really, where is this going? And, and my curiosity about that, and, and I guess I've always just been sort of this um, <laughs> nonconformist. Like I conform, but I actually am not a conformist. I'm really not. And, and so I, I sort of, I, I think about these things and I do my research and, and, and I think that if somebody really was contagious, if somebody is contagious, if somebody has a fever, if somebody is not feeling good, them wearing a mask when they go out would be an effective tool. Or somebody who actually does have a compromised immune system and feeling nervous. I mean, if somebody is feeling really nervous and they feel safer wearing this mask, I don't have really any necessarily problem with people wearing masks it's just it being compulsory that I'm I'm having the issue with, and so and so 
and then this other thing that's coming, this vaccine, and there's like been all kinds of talk about this stuff. You know, what is in this vaccine and then us not being able to go into a grocery store unless we have proof of this vaccine. Well, I saw this firsthand. I was watching this documentary about these girls who had gone to China. And I mean, it had a video with it. I mean, I'm watching this in, in real time where they had been tested and then they had to get this app on their phone and they had been tested for COVID in two different ways and then their test result somehow was downloaded onto this app on this phone and that was the only way they could fly back to the U.S. They would not actually let them out of China unless they, they complied with these test results on this app on this phone. And so, and, and actually in something in my, in my environment, and I don't really want to say where, but somebody in my environment was told that he was not allowed to come back to work unless he was tested. And when he didn't get the test results, he was basically forced to, to leave to not come back to work. So, and people are really seeing this vaccine as this, as this like security. <laughs> this like, well, when they get the vaccine, we'll all be safe. And it, it sort of cracks me up because like, I'm going to give you just one example in my own, my own experience. So my, my oldest son got the chicken pox vaccine. In fact, he got the vaccine and the booster. And then he contracted chicken pox, okay? He, and he had chicken pox all over his body. It wasn't like, you know, it was a better case of it. But I was like, what the heck? I mean, I have proof of the vaccine, and yet my son has chicken pox. So I called the CDC. I called them straight away. And I'm like, I don't understand what's happening here. My son had the vaccine and the booster, and now he has he has um, he has chicken pox and it, oh, well, that happens. You know, maybe they didn't carry the virus correctly or keep it at the right temperature or like some kind of insinuation that my son got a bad, bad vial of the vaccine, the effectiveness of all of this. But anyway, so then this, this vaccine may become compulsory. And then there's talk about these microchips inside of us, these microchips. And it's like, if we think that this isn't like, it's so far fetched. I mean, we do this to our pets. We put a microchip in our pets, which I'm not even saying that's a bad thing to have a microchip in our pets, but, and then the thing that's coming to mind for me right at the moment is how heavily we were tracked on our cell phones. I mean, they don't really have to even put a chip inside of us. I mean, they know they know everything we're doing on our cell phones. So I'm going to actually do a second YouTube because I have something else that I really wanted to talk about that I was thinking about this morning. But so I have really lost my my Zaza Zoom about my farmer's market. I, I've been, um, and I've been trying to figure out why, and it's, and I think it's because of this, that I guess I could wear a mask and to appease, and I have been wearing a mask to go into the grocery store, because if I don't wear a mask, people utterly stare at me. It's like this glare, just like David Icke had said that we would be accused of killing people if we did not wear this mask. And we got a lot of weird stuff going on right now. <laughs> it is such weird stuff. But anyway, I'm going to go and I'm going to do a part two. <laughs> anyway, love you guys. I'll see you next.